about? It's your partner, man. Who? He on talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? He on talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? He on talking about? Man, what's good with the people? How is y'all doing on this, uh, uh, terrible tantrums Tuesday? You say terrible tantrums Tuesday? What you talking about, bro? We gonna get into it. But before we do that, what's good? People like he, he, ha, ha, man, can in the pen. All my folks incarcerated, all my folks who ain't, everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man, you know what I'm talking about? Did I say, uh, Ken and the man? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up in stores now, man. You can go get you something off of, uh, 76 MacArthur Giants League is what I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside Barbershop. They say somebody, uh, <clears throat> put them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now, you know, because I tell you every morning, but just in case you don't watch me or you don't like me or you just don't like me, you know what I'm talking about? That's all right, because you could still come get them from me. Brett, not a hater, you know what I'm talking about? Come get them. <laughs> sprinkler system on you. What you say, Brett? Sprinkler system on you. You know what I'm talking about, man? Also in stores. Funk or die trying. Make sure you go get you one, man. But if all else fails, I mean, if all else fails, man, make sure you go to Amazon and get you a hardback. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that? Swing that finger, you know what I mean? Worldwide INC. What you say, bro? Worldwide Incorporated. What you say, bro? Worldwide. I ain't gonna say what that mean, bro. I'm gonna say, hey, you know what I'm talking about? It means everybody. You say, where, bro? I'm gonna say, hey, you know what I'm talking about? It means everybody, bro. Everybody included. You know what I'm talking about? And do goo. Cutthroat, Mike, uh, Lil Ru, not Lil Ru, Lil Ru, you know what I'm talking about? Ta Ta the player, that's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now, let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, my mama says, and my mama always says, uh, my mama always says, uh, breast and whiskers. You know, T B boy. You know what I'm talking about. Almost forgot. <sighs> Coffee Chronicle. Classic roast. Piping hot. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, piping hot. You know what I'm talking about. Now, good brother like myself, man, I don't promote no drug usage. Mm -mm. I don't promote no drug sellage. Mm -mm. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. No, no, no. Don't take a sip of the sippage. Don't do it. Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no crime. Mm -mm. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no uh violence. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. Keep your hands off the people. People, he don't talk about. I don't. He don't promote. He don't talk about no negativity. He don't talk about new, new, new. Y'all hold on. I gotta go get my charger and a, uh put some warmth. You know what I'm talking about on this coffee. Hold on. Man. You know what I'm talking about? Whereas we had a, uh, uh, I don't even know uh, what was out there. But yeah, man, I don't promote nothing, man. All I promote is y'all go ahead, do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got. But a good brother like myself, man, I ain't prejudiced. Mm -mm, you know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people. No, man. Me, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. They was talking to me. Man, I just love me some everybody. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? That love. What you say, bro? That love. Back to the YouTube community, man. You with me? Psst, 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 psst. Come on over here, man. Check it out. Psst, psst, psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Man, what's good with the people? Man, how is y'all doing on this uh, terrible tantrums? Terrible tantrums uh, Tuesday. So what you talking about, bro? Oh, we gonna get with that. Uh, shout out to everybody who ain't good working with their hands, but good at working with hand out here. You say terrible tantrums, man. What you talking about, bro? Uh, just that right there. Terrible tantrums, man. You know what I'm talking about? Terrible tantrums. You say, bro, you're going to have to go in the duck. It's just that right there. Terrible tantrums. Because uh, <clears throat> I'm tired. I'm like, you know, I've just been living longer than probably a, a, a lot of y'all. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of y'all probably youngsters and shit. And I just noticed 
Like, I just be noticing how shit just be weird, bro. To me, it's almost like how motherfuckers say bro now. Like, come on, bro. I remember when that shit was reserved strictly for white people. That was how white people talk. But I'm like, come on, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I just don't talk like that. That shit corny to me. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if you do it, I'm not saying you corny, bro. I just don't like that word. I don't give a fuck what you do. And once again, because nigga always got to clarify this. Because y'all get on my nerve. Y'all act like the bitch when it comes to that shit right there. But if I tell you I don't like the word bro and you use the word bro, I'm not telling you don't use the word bro. I'm not telling you I don't like when you use the word bro. I don't like that word, period, nigga. Because when I was growing up, that was white people shit, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if you say it, that's on you, nigga. You just say it, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? But every time nigga come out here, bruh, and nigga just be popping in the shooting game and shit, bruh, one of you niggas always getting offended like a bitch. Like you niggas need to, uh, I told y'all, y'all be watching people, folks, and trying to find some disrespect, trying to find something that them people saying about, and really, bruh, don't nobody be thinking about y'all. You niggas really not that important, folks. Y'all not. But you so insecure and sick and, and goofy in your own motherfucking head. You running around the world thinking everybody talking about you. You know what I'm talking about? You think everybody talking about you. But anyway, terrible tantrum. Tuesday it is. You say, bro, what is this about? Just the way we live now with the terrible tantrum. That motherfucking terrible tantrum almost like a guilt trip. Because you'll throw that motherfucker to get somebody else to act right. You get what I'm saying? And that's just cold. You know how bitches used to do it? Because the bitch is good for that. You know how, like, bitch try to act mad or something to get you to act right now. You got, what's wrong? You know, you got to, man, fuck off, bitch. You'll be mad as a motherfucker around this motherfucker. I ain't bullshitting with you. You'll be mad as a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you'll be mad as a motherfucker. Like, I'm the, uh, because this is people with a terrible tantrum. We got that good as people. You say, well, we got good as people, bro. We, uh, we put other people in charge of our happiness. You say, what, bro? Yeah, we put other people in charge of our happiness. And, uh, I told y'all about them people who come around and everything just got to be right for them to be able to get along. And that's what you get right there. Yeah, that's what you get right there. Terrible tantrum. But motherfuckers be using that shit as a guilt trip. You know what I'm talking about? Acting like they mad. You know how kids be doing it. How you used to do as a kid. You act like you didn't put your pun your your parents on punishment or something. The motherfucker who had you. <clears throat> now you act like you mad at them. Nigga, something straight out of the comic book. But terrible tantrum. And we got motherfuckers just acting out. And now niggas is throwing tantrums about anything, bruh. Niggas, I told you, you niggas is good for getting embarrassed now. And that's what I don't even get. You niggas want to do everything in the public. Then y'all, then you want to do everything in the public to get some attention. Then if the attention go wrong and you fuck around and get embarrassed or something, or you going to act like what they say, that, that old saying that the broke bitch made up, the, uh, the childish bitch, uh, hell has no... Uh, Hell has no fury like a woman scoring and all that shit. And y'all be believing that shit, man. That shit is a childish bitch, bro. And I bet you a childish bitch made that saying up. No fury has a... Uh, hell has no fury like a woman scoring. You know what I'm talking about? So you hoes go off of that shit right there. That's a built-in rationalization right there for you to get mad and just act a fool. Better go sit your lemon pepper head ass down somewhere, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Because uh, I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the world, but there's been some crazy shit happening. You know what I'm talking about? There's been some crazy shit happening. Some crazy shit, man. I, I, mean, I was reading the story. Nigga killed his own mama. Terrible tantrum. And we just, uh, man, I don't know why we like this. But, uh, that shit just becoming popular. Now we, uh, because that's another, that's another rationalization too. You know what I'm talking about? You getting mad. Because we just, I'm like, I'm telling you, bro, today, like, y'all be thinking this shit, bro, this shit is just kids games. All the tactics and the shit that they do now, bro, that shit is just, 
niggas was doing what they was kids. So now a motherfucker will get mad at you as a tactic. They'll throw a tantrum with you as a tactic to get you to act right. So if I'm mad at you, guess what? You got to do something to make me feel good to get back in my good graces. Nigga, some straight out of comic book, bro. Terrible tantrums. Tuesday. <clears throat> And that's just as the people, man, uh, cause I, I, me, myself, bro, I just don't look at life like that. Like when I, when I wake up, man, I look out the window and I see trees and shit and I see the air, man, and I see the sky and shit. Yeah, like, I don't know about y'all, just get a, a joyous feeling. You know what I'm talking about? It's another day, man. It's something that could happen in this day. This is like, you know what I mean, man? It, you got 24 hours, nigga, until tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about, man? But now they teaching you to have that. I don't know, bro. It's a fucked up spirit on y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Church people to call it the devil. But y'all walk around with that spirit, bro. Y'all walk around with that no hope. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> y'all walk around with that no hope. And I'm one of the people that I don't work with the public, but I just get to see the public and shit while I'm out. And I just be looking at motherfuckers' faces and shit, bro. And, um... Like, I can't even explain it, bro. It'd be a, uh, that shit be on them, though, folks. Just all in your face, man. Just all in your face. Just the old evil spirit, like a, just, I don't know what it is, man. Probably all them, all, all them years of pain you won't let go, but, uh. It's just a rotten spirit out here, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's just a rotten spirit out here, folks. Terrible tantrum. Tuesday it is. But I just want to let you know, man, all that shit right there, the terrible tantrum shit, uh -uh. a lot of times that shit going to lead you straight into doing some fake ass shit. Because you didn't got mad because you can't get your way. And that's what everything boils down to now. Motherfucker mad that they can't get their way. Just listen to all these victim stories, folks. Listen to that bitch who just went platinum off her 98-part uh, story and shit. You know what I'm talking about? This bitch told a whole story. That wasn't nothing but life, bro. This is what I don't be getting. I, like, I don't know if y'all got some idea in your head. Like, when you was born, nigga, like, you was finna have a motherfucker help you with your life. You know what I'm talking about? But that's the way we be acting. Like, we was born then. It was somebody else's job, nigga, to make so... We was all right for the rest of our life, bro. That's your own job. That's your job. You know what I'm talking about? But we run around here and we play victim to life stories, bro. And the same shit these motherfuckers be talking about. What was that bitch name? Risa Tisa or whatever the fuck. I still ain't heard the bitch story. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't even want to listen to that shit. I ain't watched that shit. You know what I'm talking about? And I was like, bro, how you criticize the bitch? You ain't even worse than sure. Because it's the same shit, bro. It's the same shit. You're going to find a motherfucker complaining about something that happened to them in their life. You're going to find a motherfucker complaining about a nigga that they chose to go fuck with. You're going to find a bitch complaining about a nigga she chose to go fuck with. You're going to find a nigga complaining about a bitch he chose to go fuck with. You're going to find a nigga complaining about a nigga he chose to go fuck with, bro. All this shit be your own decision. But somehow, as people... We turn around and we find out how to play victim to our choices. Terrible tantrum Tuesday, folks. Coffee Chronicle. You say, what, bro? Nigga, we find a way to play victim to our choices. So now we could come up here and tell you how a motherfucker that we picked and we was fucking on, you know what I'm talking about? Then told the same motherfucker that we trying to play victim to now. We was telling these motherfuckers we love them in the morning and all that shit. Now all of a sudden when we don't get our way now, they the, they the, uh, they the problem. They said they was going to do this for me. They said they was going to do that for me. I ain't never understood that. I ain't never understood somebody get mad at a motherfucker talking about they was going to do something. Like, man, they 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 said they was going to give me this. They said they was going to do that. I just seen a motherfucker on here uh, talking about they didn't call some people or something. Terrible tantrum. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't even, that just added on to this day. But I seen something yesterday, Coffee Chronicle. 
They might have been terrible time for them, but I seen a motherfucker this morning. They made a video or something. I don't know if they was moving or something, but they was talking to all the people that they know. Talking about now they asked everybody for help. All the people. See, because this is what we do on this terrible tantrum. We like to hold score, bruh. We like to keep score. And not only do y'all like to keep score, y'all be keeping score on shit like you will go give somebody some money. That they ain't even ask you for no money. You might have just hit or something, you looking out. You'll give somebody some money, bruh. And the same person you gave some money, the moment that they don't do something, bruh, you'll talk about that free money you just gave them. I told y'all, bruh, y'all don't be doing shit out the, from the love of your heart, bruh. Y'all be doing shit for leverage. You don't be doing shit out the kindness of your heart. You don't be doing that shit from inside on, on some real shit. You be doing that shit so you can throw it up in somebody's face later, folks. Leverage. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. Coffee Chronicles. Because we act like we come with love, but we just come with leverage. That's what we come with. We come with that one over your head. You know what I'm talking about? So I can hold it over your head now. Not only can I hold it over your head, I'm going to wait till we get in front of hella people. And then I'm going to start yelling out what I didn't did for you. So everybody else could know. So I could, at that point, when I start yelling out what I didn't did for you, to all the people, the bystanders that are sitting around, I'm going to look like you doing me wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Because I just didn't gave you all this love. And look how you acting right now. Terrible times of Tuesday. <clears throat> I just don't understand how you get into a conversation with somebody after they tell you no. When somebody tell you no, the conversation is over, folks. Basically. Unless you're going for a job or something, you still trying to, you refuse to take no. You know what I'm talking about? You still trying to, uh, you know what I'm talking about, mash for your rash. Well, like, hold on, what you know what I'm talking about? But if you ask somebody for a ride or something, can I borrow some money or something, and they tell you no, bro, it should be over right there. You know what I'm talking about? All right, man, you know what I'm talking about? You can't do it. And when somebody tell you no, you shouldn't get mad at them. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't never put, like, a thought that they might not just have it. Because we good for that as people. We go around and we act like you're supposed to be available to help us every time we need help. And you better not tell us no. You know what I'm talking about? I wish you would shut the fuck up. Because if you tell us no, we're going to throw a terrible tantrum. And somehow we're going to put the guilt trip on you and make you feel bad about telling us no. We gonna mess you. We we, we gonna make uh you gonna make us feel so bad. Even though we gotta take our kids to school, we gonna make our kids late to get you to where you need to go because that's the terrible tantrum you've been through. You know what I'm talking about? And that shit just uh, it's whole shit. It's little kid shit. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. I ain't lying. It's little kid shit. In this damn world right here, you better not make a motherfucker mad. Because they think they, uh, when you make a motherfucker mad now, you know how these niggas think they, they think they can, they, they set out to destroy you over this computer. You know what I'm talking about? You all suffer straight out of the comic book. If you knew like I knew, you'll just let these niggas talk, bruh. These niggas ain't gonna do nothing, folks. That's why they just talking. These niggas ain't gonna do nothing but tell. If you walked up with Thumper on one of these niggas right now, talking about what's all that shit you was talking, bro? These niggas would tell, bro. They would call the police on you. These niggas will call the police on you, folks. These niggas really don't be looking for that problem like that. They just like to talk all this shit in front of the people because you could do it now. You could just get up here. I mean, y'all done seen this shit. Y'all done seen motherfuckers niggas been terrified of for years. You done just seen a nerd come up here talking about, fuck you bitch ass nigga. With... Nigga, something straight out of the comic book, bro. And the Bible would say something about that tongue. For all you church people. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. What you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and the Bible would say something about your tongue. You know what I'm talking about? Watch what you let roll up off that motherfucker. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. But yeah, man. Bruh. Bruh feeling good. Got up, worked out. Was tripping when, uh, you know how you get up early in the morning, you just assessing shit, trying to get your uh, energy right for the day and shit. 
That's why I really don't even uh Like you shouldn't just grab your phone when you wake up in the morning, bruh. You should get that shit a rest for a minute. You know what I'm talking about? And just go on and uh do your thing, get your mind right and shit. Cause you'll grab your phone, bruh, and that shit'll put a thought in your head too. Cause you're gonna grab your phone and go straight to that mess. So you'll fuck around and let that mess set your tone for the day. You know what I'm talking about? Get that phone to break when you first wake up and shit, bruh. Go wash your uh go wash your face and brush your teeth and shit first. You know what I'm talking about? Go work out or something to take a walk or just meditate. You know what I'm talking about? But get your mind right, bruh, before you jump straight into that mess. I thought that motherfucker was out. It's a terrible tantrum Tuesday, folks. We living in a day where people just want to get their way. And if they can't get their way, they're going to throw a terrible tantrum. Coffee Chronicles. We living in the day where you got to uh, do everything in your motherfucking power to satisfy the next motherfucker. I told you we, uh, it's that motherfucker if you don't, uh, if everything ain't right when they come around, like basically you got to kiss their ass. You know what I'm talking about? For them to even be at peace. Coffee Chronicles. And niggas, you know what I'm talking about when I mean niggas, y'all worse than the hoes now, bruh, because y'all got that terrible tantrum shit worse than anything in the world, bruh, in the last five years, I just seen niggas act straight like hoes, I ain't bullshitting with you, and I told you, that's why I don't be listening to that shit people got to say, nigga or bitch, because you can't tell me you was fucking with this motherfucker for 10 years, then the moment, I ain't seen motherfuckers call niggas faggots, I done seen niggas call niggas snitches. You know what I'm talking about? All this shit. Then we cool two weeks later. Not even two weeks. We cool three days later. That shit don't make no sense, bro. That make you look like you full of shit. This nigga's a, 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 a sagoony. This nigga's a snitch. This nigga, all this shit right here. When you was mad at him, now that y'all cool again, we best of pals. That shit is like hoes, folks. That's what bitches do. You get what I'm saying? All that catty shit, all them cat fights and shit. Then we friends again in two days. That shit don't make no sense, bro. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. Family members and shit. We gonna get mad at each other. And they just they made this shit a circus. So we gonna come up here. Because we can't tell the person to, to their face. That's not good enough. We need this big old ass audience. This invisible audience. So we can feel like we really doing something. Because if I get up here and I get to talking shit about my family member, bitch, uh, nigga, if I come up here and I talk shit, all that invisible audience, they gonna, uh, they gonna tune in to that. They gonna get to root me on, you know what I'm talking about? What else they do? Mm-hmm, you know what I'm talking about? All that shit. That's when I really, uh, I'm telling you, I had two events. One was in the real world, one of them was on this computer. In the real world is when that pandemic... <clears throat> Because you got a chance to see who everybody was right there. I'm telling you, man. I don't know if it's the same for females. But for a nigga, you ever really want to see who a motherfucker is? Involve some money or some bitches. And at that point, that person will show you their real self. When it comes to niggas. Involve some money. Involve some bitches. And you're going to see who a nigga really is. Cause them two things right there, it uh, it normally uh brings out a motherfucker character for a nigga. Them two things right there, a nigga will show you who he really is. You feel me? Yeah, them two things right there, a nigga will show you who he really is. So involve some motherfucking uh money, involve some motherfucking uh bitches. Terrible tantrum. Tuesday, but for these niggas, man, like, I just ain't never seen no world like this, folks, I ain't never seen where as soon as you get mad, you go live to talk about a nigga, nigga just sitting on the motherfucking, just sitting on the computer, uh, I don't want to say venting, but just sitting on the motherfucking computer blabbing because your feelings hurt. You know what I'm talking about? 
And that's all you showing motherfuckers. Because that's exactly what you sound like when you niggas do that. You niggas get up here to talk all that shit sounding like your feelings hurt. Sounding like whatever this other nigga done said affected you. Now you want to get up here and explain yourself and let the people know, man, fuck these people, bro. It don't even make no sense to explain yourself to these people, bro. These people ain't righteous. You get the people an explanation, they gonna criticize that. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck these people. The fuck you need to explain something for, bro? Let these people think what the fuck they want to think, bro. Fuck these people. You know what I'm talking about? You just go be about you. Terrible tantrum tools, right, man. Coffee Chronicles. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, don't get in the habit of doing that shit. Explaining yourself. Uh, trying to get people on your side. Because I told you, that's all that matters now on this terrible tantrum Tuesday. It don't matter what you did. It just doesn't matter how many people rocking with you and what you did. Because if you get a big old gathering, a big old cheerleading squad, it don't even matter what you did, folks. Because you got all these people on your side. And you're going you gonna to feed into that like a bitch. Yeah, you're going to feed into that just like a bitch. Just like I tell you, bruh, you ever seen one of these niggas go live? It'll be one person, two people. Let that motherfucker fuck around and go to 35 people. Watch how much energy them niggas get. Like a bitch, bruh. The more people you got to show off in front of, the louder you get. Told y'all a lot of niggas use this computer for friendship. Cause they ain't got nobody to talk to on a real phone and shit. They ain't got no partners they could call up or no bitch or no the bitches, no nigga, you know what I mean? They really don't got people to uh socialize with like that in the real world. They can't have them conversations. You get what I'm saying? So motherfuckers turn the computer on to talk to invisible people. I ain't bullshitting with you. It's only 24 hours in a day, folks. It's only 24 hours in a day. Nigga, something straight out of comic book, folks. You own this motherfucker too much. And you gotta realize, bro, these motherfuckers own everything. And that's your business if you do it. You know what I'm talking about? That's your business if you do it. I ain't telling you there's nothing wrong with it or not. I'm just telling you, if you spend all your time on this computer, bro, you ain't got nothing to do in the real world. That's the only point I'm making. You niggas be on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Niggas just be all niggas stuck inside the computer, folks. I'm telling you, niggas devoted 25 hours to the computer out of 24 hour a day. Terrible time from Tuesday. Told you, bro, these niggas do chores in the real world to come play in the computer. Coffee Chronicles. But, uh, I say what you talking about, bro. It's just funny to me. Not really funny. <clears throat> but, uh, it's really a shame how we living in the day of the terrible tantrum. We living in the day to where all you got to do is make a nigga mad. And that nigga coming back outside. Remember you used to go make a nigga mad and the nigga used to go get a gun or something. He used to go get some more niggas or something. Man, please. You make a nigga mad now. He coming straight up here with what he know about you. Or what he think he know about you. He coming straight up here to embarrass you. He gonna come straight up here and hit you below the belt. He gonna tell you you on child support. He gonna tell your other bitch about the other baby you got over there out of town. They just gonna do all that baby mama shit. First, baby mama shit. Coffee Chronicles, man. I just never thought I'd see a day where a nigga, especially a black man, would be proud to run his mouth. And niggas, they sit up here and they run their mouth and talk about other people's business, but they doing it tough. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? They mugging in the camera, calling niggas bitches and hoes, and, man, let me tell you something, cuz, or check this out, blood, you know what I'm talking about? Or, uh, which all the folks, or, well, oh, you know all the y'all gangs, man, shout out to all the gangs, but y'all know how y'all do it, bruh. But y'all doing that shit. From the standpoint of gossip, y'all y'all acting y'all standing on gossip. Terrible tantrum, Tuesday.
Because you know this just like a bitch. Everybody cool until they ain't cool. Then the moment a nigga ain't cool with you, you just don't see people go they uh the nigga just go his own separate way. The moment the nigga ain't cool with you, he get the murder mouth in you. He gonna get to running everything down they don't like about you. Get to running down how you the man, that's just whole shit. You ain't gotta see it like that. It's still whole shit. I don't give a fuck what you think is cool. I know what whole shit is. I'm telling you, bro, that's what you niggas sound like. The prostitute crowd. All the hoes together chit-chatting. It's rolling, bitch. <laughs> God damn. I see. Yeah, I see you, man. They say, bro, they hate you for saying the nigga be acting like hoes now. Man, you just, what else do you call it, folks? On some real shit. On terrible tantrum Tuesday. Every time you niggas get mad, the first thing y'all do is hit play. Y'all don't even think. Y'all don't even keep thoughts to y'all self, bruh. Y'all act like little kids. Like these, I told you, everybody walk around <clears throat> thinking they some kind of low-level celebrity. So in your mind, you some celebrity. And you can't wait to come tell these invisible people something. The moment a nigga get mad, he hit play. Nigga don't even sit down and get his thoughts together. As soon as a nigga get mad, he just run to this invisible shit that he calls the world. And guess what? And they always, you know what I'm talking about, just can't hold water. Sounding like a hoe. Sounding like a hoe, fuck. A bitch. A motherfucker that can't hold water. But the thing that even kills me more than that is these the motherfuckers y'all be rushing to be friends with. Nigga, in the world. You want to sit right here, bro. You done came over here, nigga. I'm talking about the real world, the computer, all this shit, hand in hand, nigga. Coffee Chronicles. See, because y'all be wanting popular friends. Y'all good for defending people, don't know them. You know what I'm talking about? Look how the world is now. We living in a world today <clears throat> where a motherfucker could be a fan of you and attack somebody. Like, that ain't weird. And everybody laughing at the motherfucker who got attacked, right? Uh, ain't nobody said nothing about these weird ass niggas that like a man crush, bruh. Y'all defending some niggas who ain't gave you a dollar. You just a fan of somebody and you ready to fight for another motherfucker you don't know. There's something wrong with you, folks. That's weird, folks. For real, that's weird, man. That's like that movie fan with uh, Robert De Niro and uh, Wesley Snipes, folks, when he was the baseball player. That shit is weird. You niggas got a weird factuation now. Because they didn't give you nerves a shortcut to how you could be in the mix. That's what it is. That's what it is. Y'all didn't give them a shortcut of how to be in the mix. So now the nerves could be known. Because all you got to do is, uh, y'all weird, folks. We living in a day where a nigga could be a fan of yours and defend your honor. Coffee Chronicles. I say you one of them niggas out there, you might have a little bit of record. And you get caught for that dumb ass shit. Now you got an assault on the motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Now you got an assault on the motherfucker. You didn't got taken away from your motherfucking family about defending some nigga you don't even know. You just a fan of their music. That shit goofy and weird, folks. Terrible tantrum. It ain't like these people, your partner. Like, as soon as I see this nigga for talking down on my partner, you, you don't even know these people, bruh. But you so much of a groupie, you feel that you need to defend them. Coffee Chronicles. Nigga, something straight out of comic book, bruh. Straight out of comic book. No, I ain't gonna even speak on that. I seen some niggas get life for that shit, though.
I seen some niggas get life or some shit just like that. Listen, folks. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know, folks. I don't understand if I'm mad. I'm just mad, bro. I'm gonna sit back, collect my thoughts. I'm gonna try to simmer down, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to analyze everything out. You get what I'm saying? Because the uh, reward gotta outweigh the risk. You know what I'm talking about? See, because when you get to connecting dots, no matter how mad you is, and you add this shit up, sometimes, like I just added some shit up, and it was a it was a lose lose. It was no way I was I was winning. It was just a lose lose, bro. Because any move I make, I'm going to jail. And they gonna tell. Any move I make. That's why I be feeling like y'all be uh, really like the suckers got the real niggas handicapped now. Because y'all just gonna run to the police. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all kind of got that in y'all coin pocket. You feel me? You could do anything. Don't let a nigga have a record and a nigga know you got a record. Boy, man, please. Please, bruh. Nigga try to hold that shit over your head like a sex tape. I ain't bullshitting with you. Niggas is weird, bruh. Hybrid niggas. Y'all act like gangsters. Act like the police. Act like the bitch. Y'all everything in one. Hybrid niggas. Y'all can get yourself pregnant. I ain't bullshitting with you. Niggas walking around here seven and a half months. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, terrible tantrum Tuesday, man. Shit a shame, though. It is, man. And sometimes you just got to look in the mirror. I know you're not, folks. But uh, sometimes that's just what it takes to look in the mirror, man. You know what I'm talking about? If as soon as you get mad, you want to go live and tell somebody and, and just get the ranting and the devotion what's going on and the reason you mad and shit. Uh, I mean, I guess that's cool. If you a bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody gonna say, Bridget, no, nah, bro, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know why I gotta clarify everything for you goofy ass niggas, man. You sitting in the house arguing with your bitch. You hit play. You know what I'm talking about? You sitting around here arguing with some niggas. You hit play. You just getting to it with your mama. You hit play. Excuse me. You just get into it with your sisters. You hit play. And you want to tell everybody because you're looking for somebody to take your side. Because at that point right there when you mad, you need somebody to uh be on your side. Yeah, you right. I'll be mad too. You need to hear all this dumb ass shit. To make you feel better about what you mad about. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. That shit dangerous, though, y'all. You ain't got to listen to me, though. But that shit dangerous. Because you're going to do that shit one time, folks, and you're going to say something publicly that you wish you wouldn't have said, like y'all be doing now. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're going to get up here and you're going to say a whole bunch of shit out your mouth, bruh, and you're going to wish you wouldn't have said it. Because we living in the day now, y'all just let anything come out your mouth and come back and say, I was mad, I didn't mean that. But you keep on doing it like a bitch. You come back, you say something, then you apologize a million times. But keep on doing the shit, apologizing. You make yourself look like a sap sucker. You make yourself look like you just talking. You make yourself just look like you got an attitude right now like the bitch. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. You do, bruh. All that shit, fuck you. When I see you, I'm going to kill you and fuck your mama. And nigga, it's on. Nigga, come on and all that shit. Then the next day we laughing and we kicking it and shit, drinking coffee, walking around the yard. Nigga, something straight out of comic book, bruh. Terrible tantrum Tuesday. But you ain't got to listen to me, bruh. You could be one of them niggas out here to keep on getting mad <clears throat> and hit and play. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about what you're going to do, talking about who you don't like, talking about everybody. <clears throat> and before I get up out of here, because I got some things to do. Uh... 
it's that part right there. You know what I'm talking about? I say, what part is that, bro? Yeah, it's that part right there. To where you friends with this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Or you see the you see people the way they is. You see this motherfucker that fell out with their whole family. You see this motherfucker talk about everybody. Y'all just see these motherfuckers ways. Y'all see them calling the police on people in real life. On the internet, y'all see them report people pages. Y'all see them trolling. Y'all see people do all this shit. But as long as you friends with them, you ride along over there with them doing that fake ass shit. Then the moment they make you mad, you fall out. Now, now you know what I'm talking about, you fake. You know what I'm talking about? Especially on this computer shit. Really, especially in the real world. But on this computer shit, man, that shit just kill me. Listen, fuck. Y'all actually be... Coming up here, making friends, getting niggas' numbers and shit. Then calling motherfuckers, talking about the computer in the real world. Man, you niggas something straight out of the comic book, bruh. <laughs> you niggas actually be on the phone, nigga. Making plans about how y'all gonna take down other niggas' pages and shit, bruh. This is what you got to do in real life, man. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. What'd you say, bruh? Old lady. Bruh, little be white as a motherfucker. I ain't bullshitting with you. My shit ain't even chopped. My lip just white. But you know, some real shit. That one right there. Uh, that one just gets me every time, bruh. It just does. Ain't no way in the world. I wouldn't give a fuck if I met one of y'all on the computer or whatever, bruh. If I call you, nigga, I'm checking up on you. How you been, folks? Nigga, I ain't got nothing to say about this computer shit, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on your well-being. How everything been your way, folks? I ain't getting on here to gossip. Like, man, you know what? I can't stand that. Man, that's just whole shit, bruh. I ain't getting on the phone and talking another nigga down. And you could be one of the motherfuckers up here fucking with somebody. I ain't even finna ask you about that shit, folks. I called to check on you, folks. How you doing, bruh? You know what I'm talking about? Everything all right? Family cool? You know what I'm talking about? I'll be back around here till we meet again. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to check on you, folks. I ain't calling you to check on some computer shit, bro. I don't give a... This shit ain't real, nigga. Nigga, something straight out of the comic book, folks. But just know that, folks. Because if you just know that, you'll realize where you fake at. You'll realize when you over here hanging with the shit, doing all this shit, it was faked in, too. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't going to go over here doing all that fake shit. Playing with people in real life, calling the police on people, just all this mess and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Then when I fall out with the other motherfucker, I'm going to talk about all the mess they was doing when I was right over here doing it with them, man. Nigga, something straight out of comic book, folks. Straight out of a comic book. And that's just why all this shit fake to me. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to call it fake after we've been doing this shit for three years. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to call you fake after we've been hanging with you for 10 years. You know what I'm talking about? Doing the same shit. Then as soon as we get a terrible tantrum, Tuesday it is. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, when we fall out, I'm going to come up here and run and tell the people all the shit you was doing during that 10 year, uh, during our 10 year friendship. I'm going to tell you all the shit to do. I'm going to tell the people all the shit you was doing while I was sitting right there with you doing it. But what do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires, man. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember. It don't cause nothing. Just to show a little bit of that love.